What is up guys, I'm back again with another video. In today's one, what we're going to do is we will be learning how you can set up Krita for creating pixel artwork just like any other standalone pixel art software coming up. So before starting off with the video, if you're new to this channel, you can consider subscribing, you can turn on the notifications because I make content related to Krita and digital artwork on a weekly basis. And also we are very near to our 1k subscriber milestone so if you can subscribe that will definitely help me a lot and if you want to check out other videos like this i will be providing links in the description and also annotations in between of this video so yeah enough with the self-promotion let's get started so here we are in krita uh, i'm using a canvas which is currently as big as 2000 by 2000 pixel and also it has all the default settings of krita I'm currently using the Krita version 4.29, however the latest version just dropped a week ago which is 4.3, uh, I'll be upgrading to it soon. Still for this video, this version is good enough and relevant enough. So as I said before, we are currently using or working with 2000 by 2000 pixel canvas which is pretty big for the scale of a pixel artwork, a pixel painting and also it doesn't come with any sort of assisting grid or outline for creating our artwork nor it has any sort of specialized brushes for creating pixel art. So let's get started with setting up all of these things in Krita. So starting up with the assisting scale grid, so just go at the top panel of your Krita window, click the settings option, go into the Krita settings. and choose the grid settings. Make sure that the pixel grid start showing at is set up to 400% instead of 2400%. And the pixel grid color is something darker than this, something like black or dark purple and press the OK button to save everything. Right now you might not see any changes in the appearance of the canvas for now but in order to see all these changes, we have to create a new canvas, a new project. For that, what we're going to do is we'll be going into the files, new, and create a custom canvas with the width and height of 32 by 32 pixels. If you want a bigger canvas, you can use a 64 by 64 canvas. And there we go. We have our own canvas, a customized pixel art based canvas, which is perfectly suitable for creating pixel artwork. But unfortunately, the default brushes of Krita usually do not work with the grid we have just set it up properly. Even if I set the brush size to one pixel, we end up getting messy looking lines, which is good for creating cartoonic sort of artwork, realistic sort of artwork, but for creating pixel art, they are not just up to the mark. To fix that, Krita has some pre-installed brushes which are just suitable for pixel artwork. To select them, what we're going to do is we'll be going down in the preset settings. In the digital brush category, just scroll down a little bit and you will be having three pixel art related brushes. Or if you still are not able to find these brushes, you can just simply search down here pixel art and you'll be getting all the brushes. Currently, there are only three pre-installed brushes by Krita for creating digital artwork. If you want more, you can just simply download them separately from Krita forums. And just by using the basic tools of Krita, you can draw some of the most aesthetically pleasing pixel artwork out there. If you don't know anything about the basics of Krita, I will recommend you watching my introduction video on Krita basics. You can check the video's link in the description or click the annotation for more. I'm also working on a playlist where I'm currently covering all the topics related to beginners in Krita. Also, if you're interested in more mini tutorials like this, I will be providing a link in the description as well. So as I said before, you can use these basic tools for creating pixel artwork for your animation, game assets or character designs. So yeah, this is it for today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, what you can do, you can subscribe, you can turn on the notifications because we are very near to our 1k subscriber milestone as I said before. You can comment down if you have any video ideas, comments or suggestions. I will definitely be answering you guys down in the comment section. So yeah, till then, stay awesome and just like always, peace.